Hey everyone, you guys sick and tired just like I am of uh, trying to run an 11 and always coming up with 12.5 or 12 whatever if you're unlucky like me and live in a hot environment. I'm going to explain why that happens coming up next. Thanks for coming. channel everybody uh, just wanted to go over DA and what is it how does it affect us when we race our cars so before you go trying to set the world on fire and you want to go out to the drag strip and set your best time do yourself a favor there's a bunch of websites I'll leave some links in my video go check and see what the DA is at your track before you go out there if you've done a mop if you put exhaust on it, cold air intake any of those things you will not know if, you're, if you gained power, unless you did a baseline in the same environment as when you test it after you've done the mod, because that will make all the difference in the world. So let me get into this. Your DA, what is DA and what's the effect on when we go racing? The DA is the density altitude. How do we get this number? It's basically the height of the track compared to sea level and then the weather conditions, which is your barometric pressure and um, humidity, all those things come together to make your density altitude. Now, the lower in this number, generally the better. When, we're, when our cars are built, the horsepower and quarter mile time ratings are done in a standard environment is what they call it, which is perfect conditions. So the standard environment, what does that consist of? So it's at sea level, the barometer reading is 29.9, an ambient air temperature of 59 degrees, which is plus 15 Celsius if you're in Canada, and a relative humidity of zero. Not very often we run into that. So take that into consideration next time you go, before you go to the track or uh, go to test after you've put a mod on. Make sure you're testing in the same environment from a DA standard uh, of when you, when you tested it the first time without that mod on it. So if you're going to go and run your car like I did, and it was 100 degrees out in Arizona, the DA was at 4,700, which is really high, absolutely ridiculous. So that's going to kill horsepower. It's going to reduce your track speed. Uh, the car's not going to perform the way that the manufacturer said it's going to. So before you go out there, do yourself a favor and go to dragtimes.com. Um, they have a, a DA density for every track. If you pull it up, whether the name has changed, mine is uh, Wild Horse Pass, but I was able to find it on their website using Firebird International, which is what it used to be. Um, and it'll actually go, it doesn't have to be that exact day. If you raced and you look at your slip and you're like, oh, I wonder what it was, you can go back on that website, pull it up on the day and time that you raced, and it will give you the DA for that day and time. So the beautiful thing about this website that made me really smile, and I, this is kind of the point of the video, when I found this out, I giggled a little, he has a calculator in there, and I will put a link to Drag Times. The guy's amazing, knows a ton of stuff. Uh, so my first run was a 12.52. I was in a DA of 48.99. Obviously not ideal. So I ran a quarter mile, 12.542. 12, my track speed was 110.93. So if I would have ran that, and this is what the calculator does, if I would have ran that in perfect DA, that exact same run would have been 11.781 at 118. That blew my mind. I could not believe when I put that in there and it popped up, I smiled. I was happy. I stopped looking at superchargers and nitrous and what else can I do to make this thing faster? Should I gut the interior? All the crazy things that go through your head when you don't run that time you wanted, which for me, I just want to be in the 11s. I'm not trying to set a world record for the fastest car that's naturally aspirated. Um, I'll leave that to somebody else. But I do want to have fun at the track, and I do want to be one of the faster guys with a naturally aspirated car, which I know kind of the point for us buying these cars. But um, anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I'll go ahead and put the links to this cool information below in the description. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. We're going racing soon. It's starting to cool off in Arizona. Stay tuned. Hey guys, if you like these videos, be sure to subscribe. 
you really like them, click the little bell and you'll see the new ones when they pop up. I also have a, a merch store, as my kids call it, merchandise. I got some shirts and some silly stuff on there. Go check it out. It's, uh, the link is on the computer version. Otherwise, go to teespring-destroyer-1320 and uh, get yourself a shirt. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the support. Have a great day.